Hi, I'm Maike. Maike Krautscheid. In today's vlog, I want to give you another glimpse into my musician's life. As some of you might know, I work as a professional musician since a couple of years. When someone gets to know that I'm a professional musician, besides the question, can you live from it? Many people say, oh, I couldn't do this. I'm not musically talented at all. At this point, I would love to clear some things up. Becoming a good singer or instrumentalist is not necessarily connected with being talented. If you look at biographies of virtuous instrumentalists like David Garrett, Lang Lang, etc. These guys practiced since their early childhood on the instrument every single day for a couple of hours. Overcome your non-ability simply by repeating movements a couple of thousand times over and over again, one step after the other, and not being afraid of making any mistakes. Surely, once in a while, these virtuoso players were also forced by their parents, and not because a heavenly power streamed from their hearts into their fingers to play a world-changing melody. No, 99.9% not, I guess. So, a lot of practice, discipline and dedication. I always wanted to become a professional musician since I found some guitars on the attic and heard someone playing the guitar in my childhood. I was very happy when I got my first music lesson with Jürgen Goldschmidt. Through his help, I learned to know the basics on guitar and bass guitar. Besides inspiring me to start writing my own songs, he really inspired me with his hilarious sort of humor. Then I started playing in my first bands. Rebound, Dragonfire, Meadows, Missing Literacy. Well, very fancy names, don't you think so? For me, it was immense fun playing with these guys. And without you, I probably wouldn't have survived growing up in a small town village. So besides discipline, it is especially fun and having the right people around you. I didn't mention it yet, but it also needs some money or nice people around you to get access to instruments. Otherwise you still have your voice and some pots or buckets in the kitchen. Well, I had a nice family to support me financially. Also not to forget a room where you can practice and being able to make a lot of noise without having the feeling to bother anyone. Then on my way to become a professional musician, I was so lucky to find very wonderful teachers, mentors, who loved to teach, that had the abilities, the patience to make of any student a polished diamond, like me. That teacher with the most impact to my musician life, or life maybe also generally, is definitely Michael Schneider, Michael Schneider. I'm still so deeply grateful towards Michael, my teacher and mentor in Heidelberg, who supported me massively with everything he could. But that will be another vlog. In my studies, it was also very useful to ask other students, colleagues or friends to show me some stuff. Or also get through topics that you actually don't like at all, but you have to get through it. For me, it was piano playing, oh no. Why am I telling you all this? On the first advent this year, I was playing bass guitar as a substitute at a gospel concert of an amateur choir. A couple of days before the concert we had a rehearsal in this little church in Ramscheid Lennep. I had to go there by train, because my car was at the repair station. Can you imagine how much fun it was going by train with such equipment, a delayed train and the fear of missing the connecting train? It's a nice! Not. At all. Kind of a pain in the... but. I accepted it, as it was. Ramscheid is kind of mountainy, and I was surprised about these nice little houses and shops they have in the center. Well, 
When I arrived at the church, I was very warm, welcomed. Everybody is there to have fun while singing a couple of songs, accordingly also the name of the choir, just for fun. I think it's a virtue doing something just because it makes fun and not because you're willing to reach a goal. Just like me making these videos for you guys. Acting with joy takes you everywhere with so little resistance as possible. On the first advent, again, I had to go three hours by train, going through the rain, freezing cold, instead of comfy 40 minutes car ride. Germany really has to improve their infrastructure massively. Look how beautiful the concert was. These lovely choir singers, the conductor, the church was full of people. Everyone seemed to enjoy the atmosphere. And how sympathetic the audience and the singers were to each other. You could really feel the heartwarming joy. That's the core that I could see. Everybody was respecting each other. Nobody had to be afraid or ashamed of making any mistakes. Which besides never happens at all while gigs. <laughs> to do something with joy doesn't mean it has to be done especially good. It's only the act of doing that makes fun, independent if it's well or badly done. Simply by doing music, I think people start being more sensitive and respectful towards each other. Making music, dancing, doing sports in a joyful way will improve your life in many ways. As I see it at such concerts, positive music has a huge impact on the environment as it had on my life. Are there activities in your life that you enjoy to do? Are you already doing something because you just love doing it? What is it? Please share your joy in the comments below. Maybe I can also inspire you to make music, start singing or do anything just because you love it. I'm really looking forward to hear from you. That was it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And as it is Christmas time, I want to wish you a very wonderful, joyful, respectful Christmas time with your friends and family. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next vlog. Stay tuned.